Welcome to this week's weather report. I'm your host, Dr. Robin McKay. And if you are new to me, new to my actualization zone, welcome. Say hello in the comments so I can be sure to say hi back. And if you've been around for a while, you already know this, that this isn't actually a weather report so much as it is a um, just a check-in. Every Monday, I like to do this, to check in with what kind of energies are going on that we can take advantage of, that we can harness, that might be influencing how we're feeling, what we're thinking about, and how we're taking action in the service of our greatest hopes, dreams, and desires. So welcome to the broadcast. It is September 26th, so this is the weather report for the week of September 26th, 2022. And whew, it's about almost time for the fourth quarter to begin. And there's just a lot going on right now. There's a lot going on. So today I want to just share with you a couple of things. One is that, you know, I, what I've been noticing in the last week with myself, with some of my top clients who work with me privately, maybe with you as well, maybe you can relate to this, uh, but there just seems to be a lot of anxiety, a lot of uncertainty, even symptoms that you could call depression coming forward, even um, kind of an uncovering or, un, or a revealing of some deeper seated traumas, some things that have been kind of hidden away are coming to light right now. So I wanna share that with you because in the reading today, I always like to use my Oracle cards just to kind of guide the process. And to no great surprise, there were some cards that came up that are consistent with what I've been noticing in um, in the energies in the last week. So one is this first one, this is from the, um, the work your light Oracle deck by Rebecca Campbell. Um, this one, the first one that's come up is break the chain, break the chain. And this is about releasing ancestral patterns, healing and rewiring the future. So I want you to pay attention to this when something comes up, when you are triggered by something, when you've got some big emotions coming up from a past experience, maybe that you've had that has some trauma connected with it, um, you can kind of shift energetically, psycho psychologically even back into that old timeline that you were on when that experience took place. You sort of remember where you were at the time, what was going on at the time, and the frequencies, the energies, the emotions that were present at that time really come forward. And if you're not careful, if you're not aware, what can end up happening is that you just keep replaying those energies, those emotions over and over and over again. Well, you've heard it said that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And typically that's referred to when we're talking about behaviors, doing something different, but actually the re-experiencing of the emotions of past traumas, of past, even past anxieties, anything that um, the anniversary effect can bring up for you when you're replaying those emotions over and over again, it kind of pulls you back into that old timeline, that old way of thinking and being in the world. And first of all, it's not a lot of fun. And secondly, if you are noticing that for yourself, the encouragement that I want to share with you today is that it's actually, you can actually look at it as a signal to start releasing those patterns, releasing the, the trauma, transforming those experiences in order to kind of clear your palate, in order to have a different perspective on those events and, and in some ways unhook yourself from those experiences so that as you liberate your consciousness from those past experiences, you can now turn your attention, you can now turn your energy and engage in a different present and a different future. And I know that seems maybe a little bit esoteric, but I think that you get the picture that if you're, if you're continuing to replay the same events, the same memories, the same emotions over and over again, to be sure you're going to feel around the same way that you did at the time. So in order to shift out of that, 
This is as you're doing the clearing of the ancestral patterns, as you're doing the clearing of, um, you know, the healings that just need to have, that have arisen for you to take a look at, to look at in a different perspective. This isn't something that you can really do on your own. I would encourage you to work with somebody, especially if you have some traumas that have come up for you, work with a, a not just a trauma-informed coach, but somebody who has a deep-seated knowledge and understanding of clearing trauma. It could be a counselor, it could be a therapist, but somebody who has a deep-seated knowledge on how to shift out of the trauma. So that's one thing. And as you do that, you're actually re rewriting your future to create a different future for yourself. All right. The next one, and it's associated with this first card of breaking the chain, is to become unbound. What is meant by this is this is actually a release of soul patterns. It's a release of old contracts and past or parallel lives that might be imp impeding on your current reality. So again, this week is really about some deep reflection. One of the things that I know for intelligent and intuitive people is that sometimes we gloss over the things that have happened to us in the past. Sometimes we just set it aside, we put it on the back burner, we forget about it, but it's not really forgotten. And certainly over time, there are opportunities that arise for us to be able to start clearing some things that we have long since set aside. Some of those, those traumas and experiences that have been kind of brewing underneath the surface rise up and if you are not paying attention, you can, you can gaslight yourself about it. You can say, oh, just get over it. You can say, oh, you know, just pull yourself up by your bootstraps and keep going. Well, that's the last thing that we want to do. This is a week to feel your feelings. This is a week to acknowledge and to clear out these deep-seated patterns that have been influencing where you are now, and actually the trajectory for where you're headed in the future. And then, boy, they were, the guides were hitting this hard. So this last one, before we get to the highlight, this last one is mirror. And the question is, who or what is triggering you? So if we're going to look at the old patterns, if we're going to look at the old things that are influencing how we are thinking, how we're feeling, the decisions that we're making, even the things that we're working on in our in our businesses or in our careers, if we're gonna if we're gonna really clear those patterns, you have to first acknowledge that something is probably triggering you. So when you look at what's triggering you, you can look at it without judgment, without criticism, from an objective, open-hearted perspective, and say, "Oh, that's really interesting." I have a a client who's worked with me for a long time. She was married long, long ago and she and her first husband divorced long, long ago. But right around this time of year, every year, she has this sensation, the memories coming up of when she actually decided, made the decision to leave her husband. And even though it's been years and years, finally this year, she said to me, she said, I'm really ready to let this go. I'm really ready to transform. I'm really ready to heal from this experience. I'm done holding on to it. And so then we were able to do some deeper work around that. We were able to clear some of the energetic hooks, cords, and influences that had been kind of keeping her very subtly, very subtly kind of spinning in inertia around that relationship. She had an opportunity to forgive herself, to forgive him, and to shift perspective because it has been so long ago. And yet, when she thought about it, it came right back up. So that's something that was triggering her. And then she was able to examine that from a different perspective without getting caught up in it. She was able to observe it without absorbing it, without taking it on. And then finally, she was able to let it go so she could have a different perspective and, and experience some freedom and liberation from something that had been in some ways holding her bound for many, many years. 
The last card today that's come forward just in this theme of feeling your feelings, clearing the patterns, rewriting the future is to dance with life. And I believe that we've seen this one before. But this dance with life, this is about doing something to change your energy. You're not, you, me, all of us, are not meant to be at the whim of our emotions. We're not meant to be at the whim of the weather patterns. In other words, the subtle energies that influence us and swirl around us. We're meant to notice them, to acknowledge them, to harness them but we're not meant to be victims of these energies. And so when you are fi finding yourself feeling depressed or anxious or anxious or triggered or any of these kind of emotions or experiences that rattle you, be really mindful about whether or not you're allowing what's happening to kind of lead you around by the, by a ring in your nose or if you're able to take an objective observer perspective on these experiences, by shifting your perspective, you shift your energy. By drinking more water, you shift your energy. Which reminds me, I've noticed this, that when my body is dehydrated, I feel depressed. But I don't always recognize that I feel depressed because I'm dehydrated. What I'll do maybe you can relate to this, but what I'll do is I'll say, oh, I'm depressed. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? And I'll go down the pathway of trying to figure out what's wrong with me. And I do this overthinking activity in my brain as though something as simple as drinking more water can shift that. Now, not always, but if you're feeling that, take a look at your, your physiology first. If you're feeling anxious or depressed or triggered or anything, take a look at your physiology first and see what, what of my body's needs do I need to attend to? That should be enough to shift your energy to get different perspective, to make a different decision about how to manage the symptoms, how to clear the energy so that you can have a different perspective. And above all else this week, the encouragement really is to feel your feelings, not to be carried away by them, but to acknowledge them, to acknowledge your experience as valid, as legitimate, to not gaslight yourself, but just let yourself feel your feelings. Get the support from somebody who you trust and who is well-versed in supporting people to move through anxiety, depression, trauma. Don't do this on your own. This is not something to do on your own. And then afterwards, that's when the liberation takes place. That's when you get to rewrite. You get to rewrite the future. All right. So that's your weather report for today. It's been a joy to be here with you. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the actualization zone on Facebook. If you're not a member yet, just head over to Facebook and type into the search bar actualization zone and you will see us right away and you can join us. It's for intuitive and intelligent leaders who are ready to create a new world for themselves and other people. And really the first step of that is clearing out all of this um, low vibe past trauma, anxiety, depression that might be keeping you in inertia in your own life. All right. Until next week.